All right, so this is a favorite old car combat game of mine for PS3 called Blood Drive. It's not particularly good, but it's kind of interesting. I like all the car designs. I think the details are really neat. Mm -hmm. um, it, basically, it's a car combat game, but there's also zombos in it. Yeah. That factor into things differently. I, it's just the physics are not quite there. Uh -huh. um, but I got it cheap, and I enjoyed it for a long time while I had it. I haven't played it in a couple of years. Yeah. I um, remember when you... We're playing it a lot. Yeah. I I think there's just a kitty sneeze. I think she's trying to cry in the hot dog zone. Well, that's no, fine. she's in she's in that box labeled Bill and Eddie over there. Okay, well, I mean, whatever. I'm sure it's fine, or maybe it's not. Maybe we should look. What's she doing? What's in that? She's just in the box. Just sitting there. She's looking around. All right, she's probably fine. Um. Jackson, this one's for you. Jackson, this one's for you. Because his name is Jackson. Uh, there's a lot of fun characters in this game. Uh, and, uh... Oh, yeah, I don't know what's going on over there. Alex is going to check out what's going on over there. Nazar is cool. What the fuck are you doing? It reminds me a little bit of the old Vigilante 8 games. Uh... Partially because of, like, the gambling element of it, and partially because it's mostly, like, older muscle cars and stuff. I think she just fucking like cardboard. Oh. But I've always found Vigilante 8 to be way more charming and enjoyable than, than Twisted Metal. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't... Is it David Jaffe? Is that his name? Yeah. I don't enjoy David Jaffe's sense of humor at all. I think it's mean-spirited and junior high-ish. What about when Kratos... Fucks those babes with those big titties. Oh, that's right, because he does. He fucks those babes with those big titties. Oh, the jars are oh, oh, oh. Anyway, yeah, I agree. That, with and you. that's and that's so cool that he does that. It's so fucking. Oh, be careful over there, dum dum. We're so worried about smackers. I haven't played this game in a while, so uh, like it doesn't have a big roster of characters, but um, you know, like this guy's cool. Whoa, the corpse grinder. I like that this guy, like, narrates it. Who is this guy? And, oh, careful. Whoa. I love a man who drives a bitchin' car. I do, too. And everybody everybody has a, a different... borderland sense of humor. Mm-hmm. If you keep biting my cables, I'm gonna fucking shit on your ass. All right? I'm gonna stomp on you. Not oh, Jake yeah. Smackers. And there's that's cool. There's like a stop. Yeah. There's a, a rival roulette. You get bonus points for taking out whatever rival rival it picks out at random during uh -huh. the tournament. Um, I don't. There's a lot of cool stuff here in what is obviously a low budget game. Uh, I I actually think like a lot of the animation, like the physical animations for the cars, are very interesting. Uh -huh. Like when you finish a match with this particular car, mm. it has a big belt-driven supercharger like Mad Max's Interceptor. Yeah. And you can see that the car is animated and then the motor is animated to rumble in a different way with the exhaust pipes and the and just the belt spins. And I don't I don't know what they're what they're talking about. But uh, they seem mad. They are mad. Ooh. I gotta get that bonus zombie. Yeah. Hey, is this the first time you've ever played this in HD? Yeah, I would say it probably is the first time I've ever played this in HD. Um, which probably explains why. I'm just curious. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't remember any of the controls or anything. I'm sure you'll do fine. But I really like the sort of aggressively cartoony way that, like, the cars... And I don't know... I don't even know what the objective of this is. It yeah. To kill, I think it must be to kill zombies. But, uh... And they're fighting. Harpoons yeah. are cool. And it's just a fun, very chaotic game. Yeah. It didn't look bad back when I saw you playing it. No, it's not it's bad. Not. I, I don't know if it's something that, you know... Is, is my style, but I don't think it looks bad. You know, I think the... Ah, damn it. I think the thing that I find interesting about car combat is, like, 
I think it's hard to do well, uh -huh. but it's easy to do a really shitty job. Yeah. I don't want mines. No, the thing I love about debt mines. The thing I love. That's another game I'd love to do on here. Road kills. Road kill. Yeah, that'd be game. fun. That is a fascinating. We are the one they call the highway In hunters. fact, a little bit of Bog Boy, Bogwater Boys trivia. Oh shit! When we first I think you're getting the trophies for me. Oh, you're, you're welcome, dirty boy. The dirty boy gets the trophies. When we first started um, this channel way back yeah. in the day, we were going under the moniker the Fuzz Brothers, which is the fake hair metal band from Roadkill. Yeah, it has a shitload of good songs. Oh, they're so good. And, uh, the main reason we stopped is because it was very embarrassing to say out loud. We, we hated calling ourselves the Fuzz Brothers, but um, now we will call ourselves the Bogwater Boys. And that's funny to us. Without blinking. Yeah. Um, uh, in fact, you can actually go back and if you watch our old videos, I wouldn't recommend I, it. I but wouldn't, yeah. if you did that, you would hear us introduce ourselves as the Bogwater Boys. Also, the there's, Fuzz Brothers. I'm sorry, yeah, the Fuzz Brothers. And there's also, like, an episode where Jake's mom interrupts us, and that's... Yeah. A hey, relic we, of the past. We've been doing this for a long fucking time. Yeah, story. it's been a while. Whoa! And in so many locations, too. Yeah, I mean, you know? really, we've got, I mean, we're Bogwater Boys worldwide. We, 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 <laughs> we are brothers worldwide. And we've done it at your house. We, we've done the Bogwater Boys at, uh, at a couple dorms. Yeah. Done the Bogwater Boys at other people's houses. We did, well, I mean, hell, we did Bogwater, did we ever do a Bogwater Boys when Lindsay and I were living together? Uh, yes. And she was so nice to put up with that. I don't know if we ever, well, we did do at least one. Yeah. The Streets of Rage remake, and uh, we played uh, Sonic 4 Episode 2 in Spelunky. A Sonic 4 Episode 2, that's a game I need to revisit. I don't really need to revisit Episode 1, but, uh... We also did, um, fucking... A little bit of Knuckles Chaotix. Yep. We did some episodes with Lindsay, but I don't think those ever Those were got usually anywhere. over. We did episodes with Lindsay, but the ones that the only ones that ever came out were the ones we did, I think, over at Dylan. Yeah, with the Jeopardy place. ones. Um, bit of a shame. The no the no guy the No Man's Sky ones were fun. Yeah. The No Man's I, I is that that footage is probably maybe still on my PS4. Well, it's it, it's either on the PS4. I think it's might be on that memory stick that you gave me a while back. That might be worth looking into because Lindsay was really funny during. That. I can't. I don't know where that is. Yeah. <laughs> I can try and find it, but. Well, if it comes up, great. If not, you know, no. It's probably somewhere in the Gamers Grotto. Oh, the Gamers Grotto. Lovely um, place. Anyway, enough reminiscing. Yeah. <laughs> well, and another thing, after we were the Fuzz Brothers, we just changed to Jake and Alex. We that, did. That wasn't embarrassing to say, because those are our names. Those is our names. But unfortunately, Jake and Alex, uh, if you Googled our Twitter account, it also linked, or if you Googled my name, it linked, like my full name, it linked directly to our Twitter account. And given the line of work I'm in, a YouTube channel where I say swear words and stuff like that was not really like... All right. Nice. I love, man. I love the way all the cars move. I think it's really cool. They yeah. all look very scary and dangerous. Good job. Thank you. Anyway, and yeah, I so I went back and meticulously changed all of the tags and titles of our videos to eliminate all of those words. Because we we, how did we come up with the Bogwater Boys initially as a name? It was that Let's Play of Dragon Quest Heroes, right? Was it? Was that really when we just came up with it? I think so. That's incredible. I don't remember ever saying it before then. Do you? I think the Dragon Quest Heroes video, we definitely we talked about the Bogwater Boys like we already knew what the concept was. I don't know. Well, I just don't remember saying that before. But I don't know. What? Well, I, mean, I love that it's already lost to history. But, um... <laughs> I don't know. I, I would believe that that video was the genesis of it because that even that video we were still flip flopping back and forth between the Bogwater brothers and Bogwater, the Bogwater boys. Oh no 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 no! What it was? Oh. I we had me and Jennifer had you over for uh, some wrestling, and we mm -hmm. talked about it at dinner. Remember what we would be called if we were yeah, wrestlers, yeah, yeah. and we settled on the Bogwater boys slash brothers <laughs> slash bro Bogwater brothers boys. Yeah, and then we carried that over into that let's play. Okay, I remember now. Now I'm tracking. Boy, this game is like just. Chaotic as fuck. But I, re I really. It reminds do. me of Anarchy Reigns. Yeah, it, it reminds me a little bit of Anarchy Reigns too. There's. Look at all these lawless pure. Lawless pure. Um. 
but yeah, so we switched to the Bogwater Boys. And uh, I honestly, I think that's when this thing really cemented for us. Yeah. I, I'm, I could be wrong, but like... No, I agree. I think it's weird to say that maybe we were just missing like some branding, but... Yeah. I don't know. I kind of feel like we were... Because now... Like, it feels the, good to be the Bogwater Boys. It feels boys. good to be one of the Bogwater Boys. You know? Not that it felt bad to be Jake and Alex. No. But it felt a little more casual, you know? Yeah, it just felt... It was it, just like... I mean, and we're still just two just fucking two, friends doing just it. Just two but, boys you know. hanging out. We don't we don't expect to get famous, but we should be famous. Exactly. I agree with that. But, yeah, I don't know. I think having that, that kind of definitive a stamp on it really can yeah. change things. No, I like it. You know, uh, I also, I also, smackers for Christ's sake. I love the way the zombies will hang on their car. That is fun. I also think it's interesting that we have the Bogwater Boys, but something uh -huh. we haven't talked a whole lot about on the uh, on this whole podcast we do yeah. is um, sort of the the spiritual alter egos, maybe the different universe, the alter universe versions of the Bogwater Boys uh -huh. that I really think we should be talking about more. Yeah. Uh, the Monks of Grondheim. The Monks of Grondheim are an interesting duo, and they are a duo, even and though they they're called the Monks of Grondheim. The, it's at least a pair, and it's only a pair. It's only a pair, because they were excommunicated from the large, from the church at large. And I and I should, yeah, we should really drive this home. There are only two Monks of Grondheim, because they got kicked out of the church they were a part yeah. of. And that's fine, and they don't, they don't care. They don't care, because what they believe in... Uh, is mainly just crystals. It mainly, mainly crystals, and... More specifically, getting them, yeah. like acquiring them, yeah. which has proven to be probably Pretty the biggest challenge. For them. Yeah. yeah, well, and they just you know, and they live in this this icy icy cave. Yeah, and but you know what I respect the most about what? the monks of Grondheim is that they haven't given up yet. No, you know it's very hard for them to get the crystals, but every day you know they they, they talk, wake they, up they, and they, they at least say, talk about they say the should we go get the crystals today? Now whether or not the answer is yes or no, at least. You know, At least there's some initiative. There's a there. dialogue there. Yeah, yeah. It's not just like they they haven't resigned Shit. to you know. Oh, we're never gonna get the crystals. Right. Yeah. No. I love the never say die attitude of the monks. I, of I agree. And I think you need that in their line of work. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna. This isn't going well. I think they'll get the crystals. Yeah, I do too. I, you know, I think they'll get the crystals because, frankly, at this point, I would say even they deserve it. Yeah. Because they they, they've, the they've wanted them so much for so long. Yeah. And, you know, I think, I think that counts for a lot. Oh, I agree. They want those crystals so bad, and they really... What do I do to... Oh, I... Okay, I have, like, a fucking power. You gotta have powers. You gotta have powers. Well, that didn't oh, go so well shit. that time. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Where this game falls apart is when it tries to turn into a racing game. The physics are pretty good for car combat. Yeah. But... It didn't look great as a racing game. Yeah, but as a racing game it just doesn't work so hot. And I know that's a hard thing. The only game I've ever seen bridge racing and car combat effectively in a way that's fucking satisfying uh -huh. is Jack X. Which I still put up there with F-Zero GX, Burnout Paradise, and Driver San Francisco is one of the best racing games I've ever played. Yeah. Um, got him. I'm sure the PS4 port of that wasn't Exactly. I, was, I was really bummed by the Great. PS, yeah. I was really bummed by the PS4 port of Jack X because it just is glitchy and the frame rate's bad. Yeah. But luckily, I own like three copies yeah. of it on PS2. I bought that for Jake because I thought it'd be nice, but then yeah, it and turned I, out to I be... still played a shit ton of it. Like, no, no, uh, no, yeah, no. It, it was serviceable, I guess, if if you had no yeah, other yeah, option I, to I, play. I still it. beat it. Yeah. Shit, man. That sucks. That sucks. Mm. Nice. Superstar killed Jackson. I hated that. Jackson, I don't want to see you die, brother. I'd hate to see Jackson die. Man, I take damage quick. Whoa, shit. Got him. Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. It's okay. Now, what do you... What do you think is the most admirable aspect of the monks of Grana? Um, well, we've already obviously covered their never say die attitude, their tenacity, yeah. which I think is, I think is admirable. Are you, am I um, really getting a phone call right now? Okay, is it the president again? I think it probably is the president. The president told me they were going to bed. I will say that. Well, the president just really wants to talk about Flintstones again. Mr. President, what's going on? Okay.
Okay. The president's gonna call me back. Okay. Ooh, got my rival. Anyway. Anyway, um... Oh, there's harpoons stuck oh, on the side shit. of the car. That's fucking cool. Oh, fuck. The monks of ground time. Um, I respect not only their tenacity, but their friendship. Oh, they're because, such good friends. Because to to have a long-term goal like that... Yeah. I feel like if you were doing that by yourself, you know, if you had just reserved yourself to, I'm going to get the crystals, that can be kind of an isolating... Oh, thing, absolutely. You know, just having one goal, and you're like, I'm going to get these Especially things. Especially because you're so lustful for the crystals. And you really... Exactly. You really want the crystals, and you're not going to stop... Whoa. You're yes. not going to stop at anything to, to, to until you have those crystals. And so I feel like that can be an isolating experience. So I admire that perhaps they recognize that. Yeah. And that they have banded together... Not it, even just out of necessity, but out of true friendship. It strikes me as if... If only one of them could get the crystals, they don't want the crystals. I agree. It's because it's not. If I can't get the crystals with my friend, I don't want these crystals. Exactly, and that's because that's exactly it, Jake. That's not their goal. Their goal isn't I want the crystals now. It's we want the crystals now, now. <laughs> and they're gonna get them. And they're gonna now. get the crystals. And I, I believe they'll get the crystals. Maybe not right away, but soon. So, um, yeah. And I th we've, we've skirted around the subject long enough, but the reason they can't get the crystals is because of the dreaded the space pirates. Yeah, and the space pirates... Well, and there's the heat that also causes That's also the, the heat, yeah. Because the monks of Grondheim live in, in a relatively cold area. They, they live on, on sort, of, sort of an icy plains. Yeah. Sort of like a, a, bit Fendrana, of a, a Fendrana drifts, almost, if you will. Yeah. And uh, the problem is the crystals are, ma are magma crystals. Yeah, they're in the hot place. They're in the hot place, which is uh, right up the street from the icy place, actually. Basically, yeah. Like, almost... Problematically close to the yeah. icy. Place. It's, it's Sonic esque. In its, it is in a bit Sonic esque. Yeah, like you can have a volcano right next to ice. Yeah, like, but you know whatever. That's how it works. Yeah, the spice they of life. They accept that, and they're just gonna get the crystals. Uh huh. And uh, all right, I think I won this one. I think so. Reggie. I love how just they get everything gets covered. Oh. Nice. Gets covered in. Blood. Oh, you got a duel first. Piece of piss. Piece of piss. Bleah. Hey, what does it mean to be a piece of piss? You just want to read this? Yeah, I, w I would like to read it. Uh, if you would give a little... Like, let people know what sure. the deal is. Um, we weren't going to play this game. We were going to play a game that Jake bought on the PlayStation 1 called Hooters Road Trip, um, based on the lovely women from the Hooters chain of restaurants. Where you can go and get wings, and you can also ogle... Just uh, man, a but, woman just trying to do her job. Yeah, and and you can do that, and we still might play it if we ever like get it to hook up the PS One or Two for whatever reason it wouldn't work on my PS Three. There's literally in this room. I should point out there are three PS Ones and a PS Two, and another four PS Twos like within touching distance. Yeah, of the right only pro now. the last time we tried to capture the PS Two, it fucked up for some reason. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I'm worried about. But anyways, we might play it again. But uh. In the meantime, Jake does want to... I would like to read the the sort of Hooters Road Trip preamble before yeah, we close out from the manual this beautiful here. blood drive. So, um, before you uh, start here, let me, let me get you there and also just take a look. And he's just going to he's just gonna give it a game. I'm just going to give it a quick... There's nothing particularly impressive about it. It's no BMX XXX, but I will say that Alex, right now, as he's looking at the manual, his okay. right thumb is over a, just a big beautiful god and the and the women the, the women of Hooters the women of Hooters the women of Hooters beautiful women beautiful I've been, I've been to Hooters once I've never been um, never will be it now was that the I got most this thing. uncomfortable yeah now that you're married you can't go to Hooters when you're married it was the most uncomfortable experience of my life I can't imagine how much I would hate it actually because I just like the girl was so nice and she was just being a good waitress and you just saw her going around and like basically there were just like a bunch of like balding paunchy dudes that just felt just like the only were, guys that want to go to Hooters they were a breath away from just making a grab for uh -huh, her uh -huh. and I was like this poor girl I told you this is we're getting a little off topic here but I told you about the time I went to a a um a cigar lounge right mm -hmm. and it was just I went there begrudgingly with my friend for one of his I think his 18th birthday yeah yeah and it was just chock a block 
with old fat guys complaining about their wives. Right, yeah, they're just eating wings, smoking these gross-ass uh. cigars. I wanted to die. Anyways, go ahead with your Hooters. So anyway, we went, to, we went to Hooters. Yeah. It was like a friends from work thing, and we worked right next to Hooters. Yeah. And, um... Win three of a kind. I did it. On, oh, I see. You have to win each cup. I'm not gonna do yeah. that. Um. Anyway, I went to. Jesus Christ, Smackers, Smackers. Wait, hold on. Ding ding. Hello. Huh? Don't call here again. <laughs> I went to Hooters Deep and it cut. was just I I just I felt uncomfortable the whole time, because like you know, I don't know. Even even if I like. If I was, like, a really sexy person and I kind of, like, liked the attention, uh -huh. I still wouldn't want to work a service job where I'm just trying to make enough money to get by. Yeah. And, like, a bunch of gross people are trying to flirt with me and stare right. at my ex and, yeah. you know. So I, I just, I hated it. Yeah. Um, anyway, but we bought the Hooters Road Trip game. On the cover, there is an AMC AMX, which is a pretty rare muscle car. A 1970 no. Ford Mustang and a Dodge Viper no. racing. They're 100 miles from Santa Fe, New Mexico. And there's some there's some Hooters girls cheerleading them on on the side. So I'm going to read the little preamble here um, that is subtitled The Story. Uh -huh. Get ready for some high-speed hijacks across the land... Can I try, can I try yeah, again? Yeah, try again. Roll it. Get ready for some high-speed hijinks across the land of the free and the home of the brave. Muscle cars, exotics, ramblers, and hot rods let loose and burn rubble as you burn rubber as you thunder across the great states in search of the Road Rally Championship. Hooters Road Trip is an arcade, arcade rally racing game that recreates cross-country style rally racing. There are ten tracks that are organized into six separate rallies. These rallies consist of two to seven stages between various cities of the American Sun Belt. Tracks and cars are unlocked progressively as you compete each rally. You begin with three cars, and new cars are added to your garage upon the completion of each rally race. Each rally also has a special bonus car that is unlocked only if you come in first place overall for the entire rally. Finishing a rally also unlocks mirror image versions of each track you have already raced. What's up? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, coffee people think that you should never wash out the coffee pot or even a coffee cup. And that, like, the more coffee you put in there, the the more... It's almost like a Dutch oven. It's just going to pick up flavor all the time. Here's the thing about coffee people. They're all fucking disgusting slugs, and I want nothing to do with them. Well, coffee's bad for you. Have you tried smoking cigarettes? Coffee's very bad for you. You cannot tell me on the... Mr. President, you no, cannot bury. Stop. You cannot tell me on the phone right now that coffee is not bad for you. Are you saying? Are you, okay? I'm sorry. Are, are you going the complete other direction and trying to tell me that coffee is good for you? What data do you have to back up the claim that coffee is good for you? Stanford did a study. Derek Stanford. That guy got to know his dick from his asshole. What are you talking about? Well, tell him to stop. Oh, did you smack your own face? That's what the Secret Service should be there for, right? Yeah. God damn, that Secret Service. With their suits and their sunglasses. <laughs> Do you think I'd be a good Secret Service agent? I'm pretty good at secretly servicing myself. I will say that. Okay, yes, I have a lot of chest hair because I have a condition. And that's called, I glue hair I find on the toilet seat to my chest every morning because I want to look masculine, Barry. A lot of it's your hair anyway. A lot of it's my pube hair, but yes, Dylan does put his own pube hair on the toilet seat because he knows I'll come into forage for it later. That's normal. I'll tell you what's fantastic. You ever seen that show Friends? <gasps> you remember that guy, Ross? That's you. I'm not Ross. There's... Alex... Yep. Is there anything romantic between us? Probably. Yeah, I mean, probably, yes. But that's for us to decide. But that's for us to decide. You can't just fly in here and say that Alex and I are sleeping in the same twin bed every night. We haven't done that in years! We haven't done that in 